Good morning. As promised, we have our little foxy today. Now, I don't know why, but this seems to take me ages to create it simple enough. But there was just something blocking me on getting it right. But I'm really happy with the results. So here he is. He's quite cute, quite simple. A little bit of time to make because we've got a bit of extra with this tail here and everything. So let's have a look what we need. I am using a double knit yarn. I have an orangey colour and I've got my white glitter, my favourite one. I have some toy grade stuffing. 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, my scissors, some safety eyes which are six millimeters but you can embroider the facial features on. I have a stitch marker that's appropriate for today. I've got a little foxy stitch marker there. A little bit of black for his nose and that's an ear I've already done but because we don't need to show you more than one ear. So we might as well get started. So let's move the stuffing out of the way. What do we need first? We don't need that yet and we don't need that. We'll leave little foxy watching us. And we'll get on with his body. Now this is a Stylecraft yarn. It's just a bog standard double knit yarn. But it's a very good quality one. I would recommend it if you're going to be using one. I'm not sure. It's one in the UK here. I'm not sure whether it's one you can get anywhere else. Right, so we'll get on with our slip knot. And on to our hook. Now if there's any sort of queries regarding the stitches or anything. I do have the tutorials that cover the uh, double crochet. So that should be easy. Now I've also got one that covers Amigurumi. So if you're not quite sure. So... Here we go, hand position, we're going to do two chain. One, two, don't make them too tight because we need to work into the first one, which is here. And we're going to do six double crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, as you know with Amigurumi, we're not doing any stop starting, so there's no slip stitch join. We just go straight into the next stitch. And our next round, we're going to be doing two in every single one, if you're not sure where number one is, because it is quite distracting, that first bit. Count from the back. One, two, three, four, five, and six, because you might have been tempted to go in there. So into that first one, we can tighten this up afterwards if we've done a proper slip stitch. Slip stitch, slip knot even. So two double crochets into each of the six to give us 12. So we have two in that one. Two in the second one. Two in the third. Two double crochets in the fourth. Only two more to go in number five. And in number six. So we now have 12 double crochets and now I'm going to tighten that up. We need that quite tight. We're starting from the bottom upwards. So we're starting from this part of your little fox. So oh, next one, I'm trying to undo this. I've uh, rolled the ball up, so I'm trying to keep it together and it actually doesn't roll very well then. So it's actually more difficult. I'm not going to pop my stitch marker in yet because I think we can sort of manage the 12. So now we've got 12, we're going to be doing two double crochet in each of those 12 to give us our 24. So we'll just count 12. So that's our first one. Second Keep dropping it. Second, third, this is number four. Remember it's just two in each one, so you don't have to keep up with me. Eyes five, or you may want to go ahead of me. That is six. Seven. Eight. No, we'll put the stitch marker in, I think, in a minute. Ten. Two more. Eleven. And our last one, number 12. We've now got 24 double crochets. If at any point it seems to go a little bit too fast for you, you can always slow me down in the settings. That one's Paul's going to end up off floor, I know it is. Uh, slow me down in the settings. Or I usually tell you what you're going to do for a full round. So you could just pause it. Do that and then come back to me. Entirely up to you which method you use. So let's find this really cute little foxy stitch marker. I think this is one that I got from Rosie's Moments. Um, I think maybe one of the Beatrix Potter ones. I'm not sure. I've got some new stitch markers coming, hopefully. Not today though, because it's bank holiday, so we're not going to get any post. Right, so our next round is a little combination one. We're going to have two stitches in the first one. One in the second one and then one in each of the next four so we've got a two 
one, two, three, four, five, yeah? I'll show you, it might be easier. So we have two in this first one, and then one in each of the next five. That makes more sense, doesn't it? So we have a one double crochet, a one double crochet, a one double crochet, a one double crochet, and a one double crochet. So that was in five stitches. That is one stitch one stitch one set we're only increasing four times on this round so my next one's an increase so a two in one and one in each of the next five so that is one of them two of them three four and five so that's our second set third set coming up two in the first one and then one in each of the next five one two three, four and five. Our last set, two in the first one, one and two and one in each of the next five. Should take us back to the stitch marker. One, two, three, four and it does brilliant and five so we've increased by four so we now have 28 stitches just realized i could have done with a pen on the next bit i think i will remember but i will uh, i really could have done with a pen right we're now going to be doing just double crochet round so using our stitch marker just round to the stitch marker each time and we're going to be doing it five times so i think i can manage five no email, forget halfway through how many we've done. But here we go, round one, just one double crochet in each one. As I say this point, because you know you're going to be doing five rounds, you can either skip forward or stay with me or just pause it while you do your five. Entirely up to you how you work that. And remember, you can slow me down. So I'm going to actually speed up a little bit. So this is just our first round. There's not that many rounds to him, to be honest, but because there's a couple of bits, because obviously his tail's separate and his ear's separate, the ears take minutes, and one his little nose, of course. The tail takes a little bit longer. See, we're almost round on our first round. Remember, there's 28 stitches if you do want to count rather than a stitch marker. Push it out a little bit. Be glad when that bit's unrolled on the ball of the wall and it might not roll about so much. Almost there for round one. Ta -da! That is one. So we've got four more now. Off we go. This is number two. It's a bank holiday here, as I mentioned before, and it's actually a really nice day. I just hope people are being sensible and not going to crowded areas and things. I know uh, our lockdown has sort of allowed us to go, you know, for more walks and sort of uh, spend a bit of time with another person as long as we're keeping distances and things. But uh, we've still got to remember we've got to keep safe. Things are going in the right direction, but uh, we don't want them to get worse again. But it is a lovely day. I am lucky enough to have a garden, so I might go out later. I actually don't like it if it's too warm, um, but uh, I might sit out there. We get quite a bit of shade, so I might sit out a little bit later. A few jobs to do first. Almost round for our number two. See, it's how it's starting to curve round. And it's a bit annoying when it curves that way, because remember, you need to push it out that way it curves that way and it makes you think that this is the right side it's not i crocheted like that for ages because i was self-taught and wondered why mine had a different texture to everyone else's because basically everything was inside out right round three off we go just round the stitch marker in fact shall i move that stitch marker up i will there because it with it being a spiral formation amigurumi it sort of skews slightly where your stitch marker is, so you really should move it every few. Right, so back to round three. Off we go, round three. Now I've got a few jobs to do. I'm trying to set up a website at the moment. Ah, uh, it's not so easy. I really hope it's going to work for me. I will be selling patterns on there when I get it sorted as well. Um, my Etsy is just a nightmare. I've had technical issues with it and nobody's getting back to me and apart from the fees and that so I've decided to jump in with both feet and do a website 
obviously there's the cost up front uh, with that and a monthly fee and things so i really got to make it work but uh, if you don't try you never know dear almost there so this is round three as i said there's only five so we've only got two more after this one if you're still with me hello <laughs> if you're not I can't say anything do you but I will see the other people at the other end of the five so we're on our number four now if you have slowed me down in the settings I know I do sound a bit funny but at least you can watch sort of what my hands are doing even though my voice sounds like uh, I've been drinking too much oh we're out of that silly rolled up bit on the wall now so fingers crossed it should run okay so as I said, this is round four. After round five, we're going to be starting to decrease. So just one double crochet into every double crochet. So it's just 28 stitches every round. And you can see how his bottom is shaping up now. Right, our last round, round five of just one double crochet into each double crochet. As soon as you start decreasing, it goes pretty fast. I mean, if you think 28 stitches is not exactly a lot. And as you can imagine, I'm already starting to think about hats. I don't know. There's something... I would have to change the shape of the face a little bit if I did a hat, I think. Can't make up my mind. I can imagine that that one was fit to Cindy, that. I'm obsessed. I <laughs> think about his hats or what shape to do doll clothes. This is all good, but sometimes my brain goes too fast and I don't actually get anything done. It becomes counterproductive. So I do have to make myself focus on one thing rather than about 50 things. Right, we're now going to be starting to do a bit of decreasing decreasing even uh, we're going to be doing two stitches together and then five double crochets one with one double crochet in each of the next five so we're decreasing by four again so two together so if you're not sure remember pull it through we've got two on jump into the second one pull it through we have three on we pull it through all three that has decreased you by one stitch we're now going to do one double crochet in the next five so well we will if I don't wrap it here we go one two three four and five we're going to have another decrease because i said there's going to be four on this so in pull through in pull through pull through all three then five double crochets one two three four um five another decrease so two together and five one two three four and five and the last one like that so two together and five individual ones one two three four and five and as you can see we are back to our stitch marker let's move that stitch marker up because now we're decreasing it's going to change again so in we go with a little foxy there so that's a decrease round we've now got two rounds of just one double crochet in each so we have 24 stitches here now i'm going to move that out the way because it annoys me it gets in the way you feel like you've got two lots of uh, yarn wrapping around your fingers so it's best to shove it inside there right so one round first of just one double crochet in each double crochet so we should have 24 stitches if you're wanting to count I'm just working to the stitch marker. As long as you've moved your stitch marker regular, you shouldn't really need to count. I do have a tendency, I know I don't when I'm talking like this, but if I'm sat working on my own and it's quiet, I do count, even if I don't need to. Almost there. Right, so that was round one of just double crochets. We need another round of just double crochets. So there's two rounds. So after that decrease round, you've got two rounds of just double crochets. So just 24 stitches in each round.
almost there. Got another decrease row coming up. So if you look, we're almost, you know, we're not far off the bottom part of his body, don't know, are we? It's going to be changing yarn in a moment. So it doesn't take too long to do with 15 minutes it's taken that and obviously i was talking a little bit at the beginning and i do stop and start don't i right so our next round as i said is another decrease it's going to take us down to 20 stitches similar to the last one it's going to be two together but then four double crochets so here we go so two together and then one in each four one two three Four, that's our first set. Second set, two together. One in four. One, two, three, four. Set three, two together. And four individuals. One, two, three, and four. Last time, two together. And four single ones. No, I shouldn't use the word single. I've got to stop doing that because obviously we're UK terms. Right, we're on double crochet. So we're round, we're round, we're round. So let me just double check what I've got. Right, we have one more round of just one double crochet in each and then we're going to change the colour. So off we go. Just one double crochet into each of these stitches. There should be 20 stitches now. Don't over panic if there's 21 or there's 19. Much above that, yes, you will get a slightly funny shape, but you do get away with the odd stitch with amigurumi. Especially if you're not making lots of them. If you're making lots of them, obviously you need the consistent, let's say, because say if somebody was buying something or something off you, you can't have different ones. Almost there. Right, we are here. I'm going to stop. I'm going to snip off some of this. You could carry the yarn through if you want to. I'd like mine out of the way. Because you can actually push the yarn inside, you don't have to worry about sewing ends in. So I don't think it's end of the world. In fact, that's going to roll about, isn't it? Let me try and uh, hold it in there. It might stay. So I've got my white yarn. Because this has a thread through it, it is very tiny, weeny bit thicker. And you do have to watch catching um, this metallic sort of thread that's through it. But if you're using a plain white, that's not a problem. There are different ways of joining. Um, I've never really found a way I'm that happy with. So the way I'm going to be doing it, you don't have to do that. If you've got a great sort of way of joining different colours to make sure you don't get sort of too much of a mark here, please do your method. The only problem is with Amigurumi, because it's spiralling, it's stepping up each round I mean, you can see just there, that round, even though it's the same as that round, is higher. So you're always going to get a little step, no matter what. I mean, there may be another method. If somebody knows, please let me know. I've had a look at a few different systems, but what I'm going to do now works for me. So I'm going to just pull it through there, and then I'm going to tighten the pair. I'm going to tie that in a minute. But I just want to do a couple of stitches first. We have got an increase round yes we have we've got two stitches in one as an increase and then one in four taking it back up to 24 again so this is going to be my first stitch now let's pull that nice and tight as i say i will be knotting that in a minute so two stitches into this first one yeah that's my first two stitches and then one in the next four one two three and four and now I'm going to tie this off because I don't want it going loose because if it does go loose here then yes it is going to make it look messy so nice and tight because that's not a stitch where this is oh and then again stuff all that inside saves on a bit of stuffing as well if you're using yarn not that it saves that much, but it keeps it nice and tidy. So that was first set. So next set coming up. So two in one and one in four. Two in one. One in four. One. Two. Three and four. That's two sets. Set three. Two in one. One in four. One. Two three and four 
last set, two in one, one in four. A little pussycat hair there. I thought I'd clean the tail down. One, two, three. And if you pulled it a bit too tight, that can be difficult. Number four. There we are. So that's not a bad join, I don't think. I think it's relatively good because you're going to get that step. Like I say, I don't think there's any way of stopping that. We're going to have another increase round because we're sort of shaping out to his little face a little bit. So it's going to be two in the first one and one in the next five. Oh, and we have a funny little knot. I don't think that's a bad knot. If you get knots, be patient because sometimes they pull out themselves. Yeah, just like that. Don't pull it tight. There we go. It's just where it's twisted. Bit of patience where knots are concerned, unfortunately. Right, so we're going to have two in the first one. One in each of the next five. So we're back up to 28 now. One, two, three, four and five. Or we will be when we get round. Two in the next one. One in the next five. One two, three, four, five, third time, two in the next one, one in five, one, two, three, four and five, we have one more set, two in this one, and one in the next five, one, two, three, four and five. Perfect. Now you can keep the stitch marker in but because you do have that tiny dinge you could sort of use that. So I'm going to take my stitch marker out for now. I don't think I'm going to, well we'll need it for the tail I think. Careful you don't catch your yarn. So I'll pop him over there. Right we now have one double crochet round and then we're changing colour again. So there's only three rounds. You can see we've got three rounds there. Let me double check. Yeah, I've got bits of paper to one side of me all over the place. As soon as I've done this, I will write it back up. So, because I'm using this as my marker now, I'm just not going to worry about counting. So it's just one double crochet in each stitch. It'll be 28 stitches if you want to count. Nearly there. Couple more to go. I'm getting tangled with the black yarn as well now. Never mind, I'll be changing colour in a second so I can move that. Careful with the splitting. One more stitch. And I've done. So that is that bit. So you can see the sort of facial part there. So we can cut that. Won't need that until we do his tail again. So I'll just move it over there. And I'll bring in the orange again. Yep, so hand position. So just my way of doing it. You can do your own joints as you see fit. So I'm just pulling it through. I'm going to pull it tight. And we have just one double crochet round, so one stitch in each stitch. I'll do a few stitches, then go back and uh, tighten that up. Yep, so let's go back. I'm going to tie this and push it inside. Just going to push it all in there. We're going to pop his eyes in in a minute or two, but we can do a couple more rounds first. Right, DC round is what we were on. Yep. So just one double crochet into each of those 28 double crochets. It's not taking too long at all. We're on 24 minutes. That's not bad. I was a little concerned that he would take longer because of the tail, which I know we've got a few details to do yet, so I suppose it might. But I, I think we should come in under the hour. I'm always concerned about time for the videos, but people have reassured me they don't mind. I suppose 
it's a video so you can stop and start it as you want so you can do a bit and then go away and come back so i suppose it doesn't really matter all right so i am round i'm round so that is your first of your next stitches and we're going to be coming back in again now so i think we might be worth popping those eyes in because we're going to be getting smaller so let's have a look now when i worked this one out i made his nose first because i wanted to know the distance but now i've done that once i know ish so we have our little safety eyes you don't have to use these you could use beads you could sew on the eye detail i think if it's going to be going if it's as much as these are really collectibles if it is going to be made for a younger person perhaps sewing on might be a better idea so i'm going to half it so that's my back this is my front and i'm going to pop one in there i'm going to imagine the nose if you want to make your nose first you can do I'm sort of a bit semi-guessing here. Um, let's compare him with this guy. I think that would be about right when we pop a little nose in the middle there. doesn't matter if it's slightly different. I don't know. I think it should be a bit wider. Yes, I do. Let me take it one more. There we go. And then he'll have his little nose. Yeah, that's better. Always check before you fasten them in. Now, if you've not used these before, for this particular one, it's Dome Up. They do take a bit of pushing on when they're tiny, though. So dome facing upwards, make sure it's not going to slip, because they do. We go one. It's slipping. It's slipping. There we go. So you heard the two clicks. Now, that works for my safety eyes. Um, yours might be slightly different to that so sometimes I have wasted quite a few but sometimes a bit of experiment with them so then there too that's fine for me so I'm happy with that looks like a little person doesn't it looks quite cute right where were we we are decreasing again we're decreasing by four again so it's going to be two together then five double crochets so two together five double crochets one two three four and five two together five double crochets one two three four five our third set two together and then five individual ones one two three four five our last set two together and hopefully we'll have five stitches after that there we go one two three four and five spot on pleased with that you can see how it's coming on now i'm really happy with that right i'm just turning over my paper because i've got bits written everywhere i really got to write this one back up again we have another decrease round which is going to take us down to 20 stitches we have two together four double crochets it's very similar to when we were doing the shape in here so it's not really much different so two together and we have four double crochets two three and four we have two together then we have four one two three and four two together and four one two three and four two together and four. One, two, three, and four. We have another decrease round. We are now going to go in down to 16 stitches. Um, I think we should do a bit of stuffing, don't you? 16 is not too bad to get stuffing in, but it does get harder. Now, I'm going to really just sort of stuff the lower part of his body. So let's push it in. Don't overstuff for your, your items when you're making it because it will separate the stitches. This is why I like to use a smaller hook to make sure it's really, really tight so it can take some pressure. But you don't want to see stuff in through your work. That doesn't look very nice at all. Right. I'm not going to stuff the head bit because it's going to get in the way while I'm working. 
you can see his little shape coming now. Right, where am I doing here? There we go. I've got a decrease as I've just said. So it's a two double crochets together and then three double crochets times four. So two together and then three. One, two, three, two together and three. One, two, and three. Third time, two together. One, two, and three. It gets a bit harder to hold when it gets like this. Two together. One, two. Now don't panic if it's not lining up with that, because it won't, because like I say, it's decreasing now, and also we've got that spiral effect, so it does do that. So we've only got one more set of rounds. Well, it's not really a round, it's just round until it's closed. It's going to be two double crochets, keep going, keep going, keep going, until the work is closed up, but not before you get a bit more stuff in it. So when we're doing these double crochets together, keep them tight. So when we do the stitch, tighten it in between because otherwise when you're decreasing a lot together you will get spaces and that can look messy so two together little tighten two together little tighten i think we need to stuff him don't we otherwise we're going to really start to struggle there let me take the hook out a second Amazing how much stuff in they actually take. Sometimes it's not the cost of making something. Obviously, you've got your time and that. But if you make something large, the amount of stuff in you take it can cost you a fortune. Right, I'm going to push that right down because I don't want it to catch. But we can always push it back up after the fact, which we will do. So a bit more. So at the minute, his, his bottom seems a little overstuffed. But when we sort of have finished, we can sort of shuffle it all back up again. Right, so he's like a little bit fat at the moment, a little bit of a pudding. Right, now just carry on with two double crochets together. Again, we're keeping them really tight. And it will get harder the smaller it gets. Try not to pull it towards myself because when I'm doing these, I'm inclined to pull it closer to my body. Right, I think maybe this last one's always a bit difficult. And I'm going to do a slip stitch in that last one there. And I'm going to fasten it off. Now we need to push the stuffing back into his head. So if you just give it a little roll. He straightens it all out. Yeah, just look odd without his ears, doesn't he? So we need, ah, I'll tell you what, I haven't got my needles, but we'll get those in a minute. So we have his body there. So we're going to pop that down. We have an ear already made, but I'm going to go through making the ear next, I think. We'll do the little bits first and then we'll go back to the tail. So we're going to need our slip knot. onto there let me check where the ears are we're going to do our two chains same as we started with and we're going to do our six double crochets into that first chain so we have one two three four five and six we're now going to do a double crochet round which is a little bit fiddly at this point but make sure you know where your first one is it's here so just one double crochet into each of them. It sort of folds in on itself, so it's a bit annoying this bit. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to now tighten that. And what I'm going to do is push it over my little finger to make sure we're on the right side, because it's easier if you push it back through 
to its right side. We're going to have an increase round to get us up to nine stitches. It's going to be two double crochets in one and then one double crochet. It gives us nine. It'll be a bit easier to work with them. So we have two in the first one, one in the second one. That's one set. Two in our third one, one in our fourth. Two sets last time. Two in number five and one in number six so we've now increased a little bit we're going to have a second increase to give us 12 very similar it's going to be two in one but then one in each of the next two so two in our first one one in each of the next two one and two that's set one so a two a one and a one that's two sets last set a two, a one, and a one. We're now just going to do 12 double crochets, which is one full round. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, nearly there, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12 and a slip stitch to finish off and that's it that's his ear done that's how fast the ears are so that part's easy peasy fasten it off tighten it up and we have two ears little nose that's even quicker off we go slip knot Two chain and guess what yep six double crochets into that first one oh, one two three four four was that four was that five ah let me count one two three four that was five and six you're now going to have one increase round like last time to take it up to the nine but as you see there isn't a double crochet round in between so here we go so it's got to be a bit smaller his nose hasn't it so two in one one in the next one two in one one in the next one a two and a one so that's increased us to nine pull that nice and tight there we've just got one double crochet round now and that's it remember you get the right bit it's here off we go we have one two three four five six it's going up a bit seven but that's good eight and nine and a slip stitch to finish off and that's his nose that's as much as that does obviously that's inside out at the minute so push it out the right way so you can imagine we've left enough space it does look really odd like that but there's the nose so we've got ears nose we now need to do the tail i'm going to move a couple of pieces of paper here and bring down the tail so i can see where i am i have a quick drink of water so excuse me a second We're going to start with the white this time for the tail. Up to you whether you use stitch markers at certain points on this one. I think when you get to here, you may want to. I don't know. But for the first part, it's not really relevant. So, as per, slip knot. And our two chain. Now again, we're going to start with six double crochets because we need the point of that tail. So we've got one, two, three, four, five and six. Don't bother tightening it too much at this point. We now have a double crochet round like we did uh, for the top of the ear. So it's, it's quite close. Make sure we don't catch that. People think that is a stitch and you do have to be really careful. So that's why I count from the back. One, two, three, four, five. 
this is the stitch now make sure you get in underneath don't just pick up this bit we need to get underneath so you get both pieces on there and it's just one double crochet in each one two three four five and six this is where you can tell that yarn is thicker than the other one but uh, it's usable it's okay so tighten it up so we get this little tiny little ball so we need to push it out just to make it a little make sure it's completely flat when you do that you want to make sure you catch all the bits we're now going to do our first increase round here i'm just trying to read my own writing it's two in one and one in one we're going for that nine again so we have a two in the first stitch and then a one that's one round, one set a two and a one last time a two it starts to get a lot easier when you've done that round and a one so we now have nine stitches so you can see the point of the tail coming we now have another double crochet round so just nine stitches one two three four five six seven eight and one more number nine that's nine stitches another increase round because obviously the tail has to sort of come to that sort of point so that's why we're working on there so it's two in the first one and then one in each of the next two just to get to 12 again similar to the ear that is isn't it so we have a two oh don't get it caught up and two individual ones we have two in one one in the next two we have two in one one in the next two so we now have 12 stitches and we're just going to do a double crochet around 12 stitches one two three four five and six that's halfway there seven eight nine ten 11 and our last one number 12 so we're now going to be changing our colors so little snip of that yarn and we'll bring in our orange again and our first round is just going to be a double crochet round anyway so again your choice of joining i'll do a couple of stitches then tighten then fasten those off so i've got one two you don't really need to count because you're just going to go back round to where the color is aren't you I'll stop it there just so I can tie these off nice and tight now they are going to get in the way this time I'll tie it the right way around helps try and keep your knot nice and neat tight enough but not so it distorts the work right I'm actually can you see this orange one I'm going to cut this short because I made the slight error it might not be overly noticeable but I can see a little bit of orange through his tail there because I just stuffed it into the point not a good idea so I'm still going to, I've got to stuff some of it in but I'll keep it shorter so there's not too much I'd rather be more white in there than orange so let's carry on with this so as I say it's just one double crochet into each in the orange and we'll know when we're at the beginning because we're back to where the color changes stitch is always a bit tricky to get into right we now need a bit more increasing we're going to be doing a two in one and a one in two times four this time so it gives us a four increase so we should end up with 12 12 we should end up with 16 stitches we've got 12 now so let's get that stitch in that's two in one one in the next two that's one set two in one one in the next two that's two two in one one in the next two that's set three last time two in one and one in the next two and we're back to where we started so that is good we're going to have two rounds of just double crochets there's 16 stitches now so 
again you don't really need to use a stitch marker because you can see the positioning I'm just making sure that's all nice and tight because I'm going to push it inside and in fact I might push it inside now so again be careful where that orange goes I'm going to push all the white in first again saves on a tiny bit of stuff in there There we go, and then I'll allow the orange just to go on the top because it's about where the orange is anyway there. So as I say, two rounds of just one double crochet into each of those 16 stitches. I'm not going to count because I'm going to use that as a marker. So off we go, just one double crochet in each of the 16 stitches. Because in a minute or two, we're going to be decreasing quite rapidly. Have a look on time oh 45 minutes maybe it is going to take a little bit longer than i thought right that's one round second round just one double crochet in each if you do make a little fox and if you're happy with it if you take a photograph of it uh, please tag me in either my instagram or octopus in facebook or if you're already a friend of mine facebook um that would be lovely I know I've seen lots of smart doll hats, but uh, I've only seen a couple of the little animals, I've seen a couple of the cats that I've done. But it'd be nice to see some of the others as well. Right, where were we? One more, I think, there. So that is DT round times two. We're going to now decrease, and it's going to be two together, two DCs, times four. So two stitches together, two DC. Two together, this is our second set, and two singles. Oh, saying that word again, single, it's a double crochet, but it's a single stitch. Our set three. One, two, our final set, two together, two individuals. I think the word individual I need to start using. Right, we're round, so now we're starting to tighten up a little bit. Let me double check. We have a double crochet round. It's only 12 stitches. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We have one more decrease round here, so it goes down to 10. So it's two together and then four double crochets. So there's only two times you're decreasing here. So two together, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Two together, and then four. One, two, three and four so you can see it's getting a little bit hard to hold now so it might be worth doing a little bit of stuffing now so we'll pop a little bit in there there's some of it you can do towards the end but you do need to make sure because this is sort of the fattest part of the tail so it needs to sort of be quite nice and chunky that i'm gonna need a bit more of my stuffing i've got a little bag here uh, with stuffing in i've got a big bag in the room but for uh, when i'm what Working around the house, I take the small bag with me. So as much as I've got a craft room, well, it's like today because it's nice. I don't need to work in here. I can just fill my little basket up that I've got and all my bits and bobs, and take them to whichever part of the house I am in at that point. So you can see the tail coming now. We have a DC round, so just one double crochet into each. Now there was ten stitches, so we should have ten. So we can count if you want. Two. Careful with that stuff, and if you catch it, it's annoying, it comes through. Three, four, five, it's coming through a bit, let me push it further down. Five, six, seven, my fingers blocking it now. Eight, nine, and ten. We have one very, very last decrease to take us down to eight stitches. It's two together, three DCs times two that looks very small already let me just double check that hmm 
I might actually decide I'm changing my pattern now I have got another decrease round on my pattern but I think sort to make it a little bit easier because I think eight I know it was sort of quite fiddly to do the eight I'm going to keep it there and I'm now going to just tell you to do five double crochet rounds just five to give sort of the length of the tail so again stop with me or don't stop with me we can just go round if you would prefer we'll pop the stitch marker back in and then we're not going to count at all we're just going to go round and round and round five times are we ready because i know to sort of get my finger in there now it's starting to get a little bit tricky i did take that one down to eight but i don't think it's really necessary a lot of patterns I do adjust as I go along. Sometimes I have to make a couple of items before I sort of uh, am happy with them. I know when the ones I sell, I do sort of a few times until I know it works comfortably. Right, so that's one round. See how awkward it's getting to hold. This is our second round. Again, you can just stop me and just do the five rounds or you can slow me down. I'm slowing myself down now because of the holding of it. That's two. We're on three now. Off we go. Well, you can make it as long as you want if you want it to come further around his body. I just did five, that was all. Which will fit approximately as mine does. I hear a pussycat outside my door. That's why she has a bell on so we know where she is. Because she is a house cat but she has a tendency to hide. Um, so I like the bell on so I know what she's up to. Right, I think I lost count there. I think I'm on my last one. But again you can work to what length you would like for this. We're going to have to try and get a little bit of stuff in in here next. Not a lot because it is quite flat. Because you've got to think it's got to sit relatively flat there. So you don't want a lot of stuff in in. But that, because we've got some other stitching to do yet. Just a little bit. Just to sort of pad that bit out. I'm use my scissors to stuff it in. Tiny, weeny, weeny bit more. Sometimes the judging of how much stuffing you need can be difficult. Take that bit off. I think that will be enough. Because what we're going to be doing now is just doing two together until it, it's tight again. So we can get rid of the stitch marker. I don't know whether you can hear her meowing. <laughs> She's not happy with me because I've shut her out. Right, two together and two together and two together until the work is closed. Remember to tighten up when you do those two togethers. Two together. We are almost there. Okay, it's getting a bit tight now. And one more, I think, if I can squeeze it in there. Yep, that will do me. So, I ain't not going to be able to get a slip stitch in there. Or I might be able to if I really... Uh, might, yeah, that'll do. And um, fasten off. Let's wiggle it about like we did earlier. It sort of moves the stuffing about. And obviously it's got to sort of sit from his middle back and round like that. That looks about right, doesn't it, guys? So we have everything there that we need. The only thing I haven't got is my needles. So I'm just trying to establish where they are from here. Whether to actually stop the video, I'll just say, hang on a second. I think I'm just going to say, hang on a second. I have just taken my microphone off. So you hear me moving across the room. I have a tin here somewhere. Right, good question. I can't actually find it. Oh, it's there. Nearly got pushed off the side, which would not have been good. Here we are. I have my tin. Now, this is the tin I keep part my needles in on my needle minder, so it's quite magnetic. So they're all on there. 
we'll take that one out and let's get some sorting done. I'll put my microphone back on. Ooh, 55 minutes. Will it take me five minutes to sew it up? I don't know. Probably a little bit longer. So it might be just over the hour. All right, first of all, in case there's any little gaps, you can always sort of stitch this bit in to sort of tidy it up a bit. So I'm just taking it across a couple of times and through the body. Didn't really want to take it through the white bit. Let's take it through the orange bit. And that will do for that bit. So that bit was quick. Nose. I'm going for the nose next. Now again, a little bit of stuffing you can use. I'm actually going to use the little bit of yarn that I've got. So no stuffing required there. I'm going to start with this little bit here, right at the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to hook that into centre. Looks like a little bird or something at the moment, don't I? And then I'm just going to tuck it in round. Sometimes it's hard to pick it up when it's like this. So sometimes you have to do it in two parts. I've got to try and keep it in front of you because I do bring my stitching really close to my body when I'm doing it. And I've got to not. Now I want to make sure that this goes right up onto the orange because can you see I need it to sort of look like it joins as if it's one piece. Oh, poor little thing. Sit up. So I do need to make sure that is attached and you see mm, not too happy there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my yarn through back to that stitch there and then I'll bring it back so it's amazing what you can do with your stitching you can move it don't pull it too tight so now that looks better I think across the top there and the last couple of stitches Take your time with your stitching up. I know I'm rushing a little bit to show you what you did, what I'm doing, but take your time. Make sure it's right. You don't want to spoil your work after all that hard work. And fasten tight and thread through. One. It just looks funny when it's like this. Two and three. And that's enough. Right, I've got to put his nose on because he looks really peculiar without it. Totally changes his features just by putting his nose on. Uh, as in this part of his nose, the end of his nose. So, a little bit of black yarn. You can use an embroidery thread. You can use a, a brochet cotton, which I do use a lot of the time, but I didn't think it showed up enough. That's just only one piece on this. In, in from the back. And deciding where the nose I think it's just above centre point. Sometimes it takes me a couple of times to do something like a nose because if I don't like the positioning, I will undo it and undo it and undo it until I'm happy. So I want it there. Make sure that pushes through. That was a bit of a big nut I did there, but if you're careful. Don't cut your, your product, but you can push it through. Okay. And about there. And let's push it through and see what it's like before I decide. That makes a big difference, doesn't it? Just putting that tiny little detail on. And it's just one little thing. Now, you can't really tie it off. So because of that, I will thread it through the body a few times. Make sure you're not threading it where you can see it. Because if you run it along the edge, you'll be able to see the black. That will do me, that's going nowhere. Give him a little squidge. I think he looks quite cute there. Should we put the tail on? Or should we put the ears on first? Tail, I think is actually easier than putting the ears on, so we'll go with tail. Again, I'm just gonna fasten any loose bits up there. Center point, so use his nose there. 
it's quite close to the bottom because it helps him stand up oh no no he dropped it so you do want it quite close there if you do it too high on the body he's not going to stand up so again just a couple of stitches there make sure that is secure make sure you're happy with it i think i need to do another stitch further up because that looks a little loose there Yeah, I'm sort of happy with that now. That's pretty stable. And you've got to imagine it's coming around to about there. So it's got to be in line. So if you look in line with his body. So how I'm going to do this, I'm just going to run my yarn through to about there. So we need quite a bit of uh, yarn on this bit. Yeah, and I've tacked it there. And then I'm going to run it a little bit further along. So it's tacked it there and now make sure I'm in position before I do anything I'm going to just decline the telephone call first I'm going to tack it a little bit further up and I think a little bit more do you think what do you think I think it needs to come out a little bit Again, this is your personal preference. And I'm going to tie a little knot. That should be about right. I think that's about right. Through. Through and through. That's enough. Let's make sure he sits. He does. I'm sure that tail's come out bigger than that one. I think I put too much. No, it's not. It's about the same, isn't it? Got to put too much stuffing in there. Right, I'm just going to sew the one ear on for you to show, and then I will sew my second one on after because, as there we have just gone over the hour. I think that's almost the longest video I've done. Right, so we flatten it out. Where that is, I want it to the side because I'm going to curve these ears slightly in. So you need to find your position. That's about right. So while I'm sewing it, I'm also keeping it bent. So you see it's sort of like slightly tucked in. It's not so easy to sew, but it does give you a nicer shape. So you're sort of having to sort of really sort of dig in there with that. So bend it and pick it out. So you might want to fiddle about a bit when you're doing this. So again, take your time. There's no rush. You see, so we get a little bit of a fold going off in the ear. So I think it looks a bit neater. So I'm stitching front and back. I've not just folded it and stitched it. So I'm just going across the back now. And fasten him up nice and tight and push him through I think I've changed his center point a little bit that's why I said don't rush like I sort of do a little bit when I'm doing the videos and there we get an ear so obviously we need his other ear on the other side and we have our little foxy. So I have two little foxies now. I've got little twins here. So I'm quite pleased with that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe and share. And watch out for the next one that I'm doing. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing next. I'm never quite sure what I'm doing. That's quite normal for me. <laughs> but there will be another little critter coming along soon. And obviously there's my dolly crochet as well. If you've got that collection, you can be doing that as well. So as I say... Hope you enjoyed that. Hope to see you very soon. And I'm going to go and upload this now. See you soon. Bye.